Why do rivers always flow to the sea? One sunny morning, Oliver was watching Rivy flow gently towards the horizon. Hi Rivy! Why do you always float towards the sea? Great question, Oliver. Let me explain why rivers find their way to the ocean. Rivy began by explaining what a river is. A river is a natural stream of water that flows from higher ground to lower ground. So, rivers always go downhill. Rivy explained the force that makes rivers flow. Gravity is the force that pulls everything down. It helps me flow downhill towards the sea. Gravity is like an invisible hand guiding you. Rivy shared how rivers find their path. I follow the easiest path to reach the sea, meandering through valleys and plains. That's why rivers twist and turn. Rivy talked about smaller streams joining him. Smaller streams called tributaries join me, adding more water and helping me reach the sea. More streams make you bigger and stronger. Rivy connected his journey to the water cycle. I'm part of the water cycle. Water evaporates, forms clouds, rains down, and flows back to me. So, the water keeps moving in a big circle. Rivy explained what happens when he reaches the sea. When I reach the sea, I mix with the ocean water, helping to form new waves and currents. That's how rivers and seas stay connected. Rivy shared why rivers are important. Rivers provide water for plants, animals, and people. They also help shape the land. Rivers are like lifelines for so many things. Rivy shared an interesting fun fact. Did you know the longest river in the world is the Nile River in Africa? Wow, that's really long. Rivy explained how people can take care of rivers. We can help rivers by keeping them clean and protecting their surroundings. I'll make sure to keep our river clean and beautiful. Rivers can change their paths over time, creating new landscapes, ocean wave, sparkles. Like, share and subscribe for more amazing facts.